Hey everybody, it is Cindy with Chopwood Creations. It's been forever since I have uh, shot a video. I haven't stopped crafting. I just, um, with school closing, I became full-time school teacher for my five-year-old grandson, and that was all the talking I could stand for the day. So I'm back. Um, I plan on making many more videos. Um, this is a design team project for Terry over at Lucid Lizard Jewelry. She has amazing earrings, bracelets, magnets, and barrettes that she makes by hand. She's also started digital kits. This is one of many I have to work with. Um, the, the main kit in this flip through, this journal I created, is a, a red clover. It's a traditional herb style kit. Um, and it's a simple, beautiful kit. Uh, I can flip the cover back a little bit. You can see this one's got purples and it's the clover. Um, I think I put my papers in upside down, but I'll deal with that later. It is um, a traveler style notebook, so the signatures can come out. It's covered in the paper. There's some of the same purple ribbon on the spine. <clears throat> Front and back are both made into pockets. <coughs> Please excuse me. Beautiful purple ribbon. The, the lady that this is going to loves purple. So I thought what was perfect, this was, what was more perfect. I don't know if you can see the beautiful design on that. It looked blue on my video, but it is definitely purple. Go ahead and open it up. The front is also, there's a pocket there and a little pocket there. The first signature is this is the main page of the Red Clover Digital Kit. A quick flip through. Um, this is one of our envelopes in the kit. I just cut it down to make it into a pocket, side pocket. This tag right here is a sneak peek. Um, this digital kit is not yet completely created. So enjoy. Look on her channel, on her Etsy, in her Etsy shop, Lucid lizard jewelry to see when that's coming out this is one of her digital kits it's a uh, damask style the paper pack you'll see this throughout when you see the, the the this is the avocado dyed papers or the coffee dyed papers on the back those are papers that i have personally dyed myself and scanned in so just this is part of her red clover some backgrounds of hers. She also has the lined index cards that you can um, put on the back side. Just a piece of coffee stained paper, coffee dyed paper I did for the kit. This is the, the damask style with a faded center. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. And this stamping I just stamped throughout these, these different signatures. Um, another part of her kit, just a tag, some more of her beautiful papers. Look at the red clover with the green scroll work on it. A pink in the damask. Oh, this one, this card is out of her Calendula, C-A-L-E-N-D-U-L-A -E kit. I think I'm saying that right. Um, this is another beautiful kit. This is a piece of avocado slash uh, food color dyed paper that I played with. and I thought it was perfect for the kit. This is some journal cards or envelopes with journal cards in them from another digital kit I have. I will try to link that down below um, when the video is uploaded. This is a belly band. Um, and I don't believe it's in this kit. I believe it is in Pulpery 1. She also has Pulpery 1 and Pulpery 2 on her Etsy channel. Her Etsy shop, not channel. Um, the damask and the pink, that's with the faded center. She talks about the medicinal properties and way to use the herbs in the, that she does her kits with. This is a tag, a free tag that you can get through Artie Mays Facebook group. 
And this is from the same digital kit that I will link below. The back side, the common name for the herb is red clover. It tells you the Latin name, all kinds of information about it. The more of the beautiful kit. The pink again. The tags that are including in the kit. And I've taken these tags, and, and everyone knows that does digital um, printing, that you can make them bigger or smaller. These two, I believe, I made bigger. This is part of the background paper in the digital kit. A little uh, envelope that she has with just some little tags in the behind it. Back side of the paper. Isn't that gorgeous? She does such a good job. Oh, and if, you, if you're catching the lines in the paper, those aren't from her. Those are from my wonderful eight-year-old printer. I guess it's time for a new printer. Um, it's the purple with the faded center. Some more of her background papers that I just cut into journal cards. other half of the envelope with the journal card and I don't know where I received this and then the back of that signature and, I, and the front and back pockets of the journal I made little notebooks for and they don't fit so this is just a notebook of coffee dyed and avocado dyed papers with with her background paper that come in the kit and I'm just sticking it in here and, and the owner of this the recipient of this can do what she wants um, here's the second signature they all have the same lace on it this is one of the background papers she has in her kit once again I just took some of her papers and and cut them into pockets and tags this is out of the calendula and if I'm saying that wrong oh well I'll probably say it wrong the rest of my life and I backed them with some of her her cards that I coffee that I printed on coffee and, and avocado dyed papers. Little pocket. That's one of her background pages. I cut it in half. This big old digital or big old journal card. Background paper from the kit. Her damask paper, the faded center. One of my of avocado dyed doilies. There's the full sheet of the paper. The light purple um, damask style with the faded center paper. Um, fussy cut, kind of fussy cut around one of the pages. This is one of the envelopes in the kit. And I just took a piece of the damask paper in green. This is really pretty. It's very light. Can you see that? My lighting's not too good here. I am up at my camp, and my camera is over my light bulb. I apologize for that. The pink damask very beautiful she hand drew these designs can you see that she hand drew them aren't they gorgeous some more of her lined paper in the kit the purple center of that one and then the opposite side of that is done in yellow another one of her background papers and honestly I am not a hundred percent sure if this one is in this kit or another kit like I said I was pulling from all her kits because I ran out of um, items for this big of a journal um, but it's gorgeous her website's very easy to navigate if you go into lucid lizards jewelry um, she has nine digital kits in there right now um, and she's adding more so they're very easy to find. The light purple. Back side of that one paper. 
then just a little piece of, of scrap paper I made a pocket for two smaller um, journaling tags. And then um, a pocket once again with the paper from the, the fussy cut paper I, I made a pocket out of. Or a, a tag from the fussy cut paper I made a pocket out of. And here's another one of those little notebooks um, that I'm just sticking in there. And the third signature that's in here, but like I said, these come out. This is a um, traveler style notebook that you can take them out and put them back in. Excuse me, I need to use. This one's gorgeous. This is another sneak peek. This one is not out yet. Um, I'm excited for this one to be finished. I mean, all of her stuff is absolutely gorgeous, but these flowers and the butterflies. I know she's working on hummingbirds and azaleas right now. So there's some more of the pink paper. Oh, and this one's not out yet. Sneak peek. More of my coffee stained paper, her purple damask paper. Um, this one, let me find the coordinating half of that paper. This is the calendula, yes. Um, and you'll notice this is kind of pink. I have one over here. This is more of orange and red. My printer decided that it was going to print it in pink and I mean it looks okay it's not the true color and I told Terry I said I'm going to go ahead and use it and she goes I think that's great why waste the paper so the true color of this is not pink um and I had a card back here let me see if I can find it real quick there we go so these butterflies should be the same color but they are not see this is what happens when you don't pay attention to your printer and you print the whole kit and then look at it. So my suggestion is print a page and make sure your printer is printing correctly before you print the whole kit. Or do what I do and use it. Some more of her damask paper. Um, sneak peek. This is going to be so beautiful. I'm looking at the words and I think that sheet's in upside down. A couple more journal cards I created out of the kit. My avocado dyed paper, a belly band out of her pulp, one of her pulperies with a big journal card in it. The damask papers. A uh, little butterfly. This is from her, this is from one of her kits. I, I fussy cut it out. Just a little envelope with a card in it. The back side of that paper. Isn't that gorgeous? One of her envelopes and once again it's probably just a piece of background paper. Um, this one was, was a, a test and it was really light so she's darkened this one up a little bit. Uh, but I printed it so I was going to use it. So just remember if your printer's not printing right, that piece of paper is still usable. Why waste your ink and your paper? It's your journal. The damask papers. A background paper with a very pretty butterfly on it. Um, some of my pockets were done out of her, her tab, her index cards. Uh, I left this one as an index card. She has four of them in this kit for sure. Um, they're very beautiful. And then the uh, information about the herb that the kit comes in, come, that the kit is about. The purple damask with the faded center. More of my coffee dyed paper. Um, back the other side of that paper and it's just like this is a scrap see the different sizes in the journaling cards you can tell your computer what size you want cards to be printed so if the kit comes with only big cards you can make little cards or vice versa the pink damask and then there's that beautiful paper and the back side also has the same two pockets 
Uh, and the back of the journal is the same design as the front. I'm going to set this off to the side because the lucky owner of that is also, like I said, it's a traveler style notebook. So she's got two extra inserts for it. They're pretty much all the same. The same kit, same papers. Um, this has more of the pink cala, caladula, calendula. And some more journal cards out of her paper. So easy to make journal cards. You cut the size you want, you round the corners, and you ink it if you wish. This one has something a little fancy. This is a, I, I wanted, I put this page in completely upside down, and it's got flowers stemming from the, the from the top, pointing down, and I'm like, okay, got to do something. So I just covered that little page with some flowers and stuck a tag in there, corner tuck. There's the opposite side, but it's not so noticeable there. She's got papers that have the lines going through them. There's beautiful background. It's supposed to be red and orange. Out of her potpourri kit. Another card. And I don't over stuff my journals. Or my signatures because I feel that's for the owner to do. Uh, put, flip through through this one. I am camping and it's going to take me forever to upload this. Oh, sneak peek. This is out of the kit that's not a kit yet. And then there is a belly band out of one of her pulpery kits. That is from the same digital kit I used earlier and I will figure out which one it is and post it. Beautiful journaling spots. This is one of my um, digital kits. I, it's not an Etsy store yet, but I, I did these myself. Avocado dyed with doilies on top of them. The back side of that journal page. I did a top tuck and a bottom, or top pocket and a bottom pocket on this page using the same, all the same elements. See that's supposed to be, see, it's supposed to be this color, but I like it this color. Love it this color. This color was good enough for a journal. I wasn't going to throw all that ink and paper away. Lots of writing space, and there's the other tag that's a sneak peek. And this, I can't tell you where that one's from because I have no clue right now. And that's the last signature. So, lucky recipient of this is getting five signatures, two small notebooks, and a beautiful journal. So, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe, hit the like button. Um, I will be back more often. God bless. I hope everyone is safe and healthy and happy during this crazy time in our lives. Um, if you pray, please say a prayer for the cops out there. All lives matter. Um, I love each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day.